Hey guys, it is Kaylin Waller with Waller Adventures and today we are in St. Augustine, Florida on St. George Street and we are going to visit the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the U.S. St. Augustine, Florida. So stick around, check it out. <music> Alright, so when you come down St. George Street, it is actually like right here at the beginning where the gate is and you just come down and it's right here. You can't miss it. It sticks out like a sore thumb, but in a good way. You can tell that it's old and wooden while everything else is uh, either, you know, plastered and colorful. <laughs> but if you look at the top up there. You can see there is the school teacher up there at the top. So if you do come to St. Augustine and want to come to the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the U.S. St. Augustine, Florida, you have to come around to this side and that little window right there, that's where you get the tickets to go in and you'll just go around this corner. So we got a couple minutes before it opens up. So we'll be the first ones there, which is really cool. <laughs> Going to school. <laughs> oh, wow. It's that a little sign here that says, no, the original would have before. It says four is original to the schoolhouse. That's crazy. Here's like some of the, uh, the layouts of the, of the building. Look at all stuff. That's pretty cool. So the heavy chain is to anchor the building down in times of strong winds. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. It's that chain up there <laughs> holds the building down. That's crazy. A whole bunch of wards for the oldest schoolhouse. There's a squirrel. A squirrel is leaving school. Children, children, Globe. Start that in a second. Note the handmade English nails put here in 1763. Oh, wow. The horn book. Cooking was performed in the outside kitchen to eliminate smoke and heat. Cool, all the <clears throat> all the kids are ready for El school. There's a kid back there with a dunce cap. Okay, he being he being dumb. <laughs> he, he dumb. Oh no. says the, the dungeon. Unruly students were placed here for punishment. Please do not touch your unruly student. He bites. He looks ticked off. <laughs> well, he didn't try to spell innocence, so. Yeah, he didn't misspell innocence. I mean, that's bad enough to be put in the dungeon. But you can see, like, a real picture of him. That's bad. Instead of, like, like that's your, like, punishment. You gotta sit in that room. <laughs> Oldest school roll call. 
Oh, well. The last class attending the school was 1864. So all these students that attended here, they all died in like mid their um 30s and mid 40s. The class of 1864. I just got streaming. Oh wow. <laughs> This is the speaker's manual. It's a student slate and fragments and pencils. Slate board with slate pencils. It's right on. Wow. And nails and bayonet. See some some bullets. Some, some uh, British muzzle loading stuff. Bless you. An inkwell, marble well, some porcelain stuff. There's some other stuff. Look at them bottles. Oh, here's a sprite can. And I, I don't know what that one, black one or that brown one is back there. Mr. Pibb. Oh, it's Mr. Pibb. There's a chamber pot. And all those books. See, the school bell hung in front of the oldest one. Yeah, that's the old school bell. Dag on. All right. So before we get the little animation show going. You can see that there is an upstairs. You, you can kind of see. Time for Let me see if I can't Wait. go around here. This is living quarters, if you can hear me over the teacher talking. Um, this is the living quarters. We're blessed to share this restored treasure with you. We either spent the integrity and wonderful old building and the architect. Living quarters is being shared through old photographs and reflective mirrors. Yeah, I don't blame you. You don't want to go up there. <laughs> but if you go up these stairs, you can kind of see a little bit. You can kind of see on that mirror. So back in the day, I want to speak loud so you can so I can talk over the teacher. Um, the bottom of the, the bottom was the school, and the school teacher lived on top. So yeah, fireplace. This is some cold days. The fireplace was filled with wood that the pupils were brought from their own homes. It says the chimney was built entirely inside for the best heating efficiency. Oh, wow. And it says the dunce cap. That's what the little boy's wearing because he, he not bright. The dunce cap was not placed on the head of a bad child, but instead of on the head of a slow learner. <laughs> All right, so when you come in, you can press this button. It says count it says, please press the button, count to 20, and watch the professor and Johnny come to life and tell you about the school. Well, well, good to see you. Welcome to the old school and to the mid-1800s. I say that because this is how the nation's oldest wooden schoolhouse looked at that time, and our clothing is of that period. We was dressed this way in 1931 by graduates of the class of 1864 during the class reunion. That's right, Johnny. And they also decorated this little school the way they remembered it when they were here. As a matter of fact, on the back wall, there were some photographs of the class taken at that reunion and the class roll. The school itself was built sometime before 1763. During the first Spanish period. Very good, Johnny. The school is built of cypress and cedar with handmade nails and wooden pegs. This is the oldest wooden structure in St. Augustine, and it has never been reconstructed. The first pupils were Menorcan. They came here to learn English. Now we learn arithmetic and other stuff as well as reading and writing. <laughs> Some boys and girls learn their arithmetic, Johnny. Johnny did not do his homework. He hasn't learned his six times multiplication table, and that's why he's wearing the dunce cap. But Professor, I had to chop wood last night to bring to school. I see. It costs 12 and a half cents a day for us to get our learning. If our parents don't have money, we bring wood for the fire or food for the professor and his family. And what do we call that kind of arrangement, Johnny? A uh, uh, barter system? That's correct. Well, you do know your economics. However, you will wear that dunce cap until you learn your six times table. Boy, at this school talk fishing, I make an A easy. Young man, this is no laughing matter. Hold your tongue or you know where you'll go. 
Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sometimes the children are unruly in class. Then they must spend time under the stairway there until they decide to behave. We call it the dungeon. The stairs themselves are too old and narrow to allow visitors to go up safely, but there is a mirror so you can see how my wife and I live. While I strive to educate the children, my wife keeps busy with her duties upstairs in our living quarters or in the kitchen outside. She also takes care of the garden, which we hope you will visit. Well, you can now consider yourselves graduates of the old schoolhouse. Be sure to pick up your diploma as you leave. Can I get a diploma too, Professor? Well, I think you have a few years of school left, Johnny. But perhaps you can move up to work with the older, more advanced students soon and have your own quill pen. Wow! Thank you for coming to visit. Don't forget your diploma and enjoy your stay in the nation's oldest city. Bye! We are officially graduates from the old school now. Oh God. <laughs> Thank God indeed. <laughs> so you come outside. Here's the little kitchen. So the kitchen is the little. The kitchen. This kitchen was not used for a cafeteria in our modern schools. The teachers who taught at the oldest school did their own cooking in this building. The students brought their own lunches. So southern kitchens were often built as separate buildings to spare the main house any excess heat also should the kitchen catch fire the rest of the house may be safe it says please notice the remains of the white washed original boards take a peek oh yeah so that's the whitewashed original boards there's a squirrel in here that is a living thing it is not in an animatronic he in here trying to steal some some goodies, but they look like they're all fake, which is good. <laughs> there was a living animatronic in there. It was a squirrel. <laughs> okay, so they have some statues out here of uh, educators and teachers. We'll kind of slowly go through them so you can catch your names. caution tape so I can't go back here well you can kind of you can see some of the there's some artifacts back there in the the glass cases there's another a statue but they, they do have a lot of beautiful flowers out here growing in the garden that's really cool. Well, there's the bathroom. I don't know if you can hear how them. It says the necessaries in the outhouse. Before plumbing generally went indoors, the building was a was a necessary part of the everyday house lot. A small one unit toilet of this type was acquitted for most houses. The familiar crescent symbol came with the two unit bathroom. Cool. It says the crescent was for women, the sunburst was for men. So that's how you knew which is a, a women's bathroom and a men's bathroom. That's really cool. So you can get a better look at the chain. So that's what they, <laughs> so they use to keep the uh, house, the schoolhouse, and the kitchen from uh, falling over in winds. Flying away. Yeah, flying away. You gotta gotta hold that down. And there's a well over there. Well, since we have graduated the school, we're gonna ring the bell. You wanna ring it? See, he's gonna ring the bell. Wow. Cypress clapboard. I guess that's what that's, that is, cypress wood. Wow. You can, you can kind of see some modern day screws in there. 
put. Let me see. Yeah, there's some of the original nails in there. I think I'm in a gift shop and look some cool teacher stuff. Yeah, the old old school chalkboards and rulers. Some old monies. What you looking at? Magnet, magnet rocks. Oh, Raggedy Ann dolls. Got some doggy stuff, some puppy stuff. Oh, that's cool. We got Marvel Miss. Gumby. If you remember Gumby. Oh yeah, the old Batman stuff. That old games and nail puzzles and stuff. Nice. All right, guys. So that concludes our visit to the oldest wooden schoolhouse. We got our diplomas. Yeah. So now we are officially graduates of the old schoolhouse. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not, please subscribe. If you are, thank you for subscribing. It helps our channel grow. You can check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And in the description below, there will be a link to our shop where you can get cool Wild Adventures merch. So thanks for watching. See you soon.